Welcome guys! With the upcoming Masters of Arena 6 tournament hosted by me and John Slow, I decided to start with Arena Strategy Guides. First we will start with the most important one, uh, Arena 2050 Boom Guide. What does it mean? In 20 minutes we want to have 50 plus villagers and we also want to have Wheelbarrow researched. It's the most important arena build order. <clears throat> you need to learn this one to improve. This is the basic, this is the core of arena. We will go for 26 plus 2, which means that we will go 26 population. Then we will click to feudal age and we will make two villages uh, while we will be building blacksmith and market in feudal age. It's important to find uh, variants that fits your game. If you feel very confident with the BO, you can go 25 plus 2. Uh, if you feel less confident, you can go 27 plus 2. Everything is fine as long as you are not idling your TCs. So it's completely fine to go 27 plus 2 instead of 26 plus 2. If you go later, you will it will be a bit easier for you. But uh, it won't delay your boom too much. But what will delay you your boom a lot will be if you idle your TCs. So it's better to go 27 plus 2 and don't idle than 26 plus 2 and wait 15 seconds before you get the resources to go up. That's very important. You can see this is the basic rule for us, never idle TCs on Arena. And as always, there will be build order in the description. Okay, so without further hesitation, let's go to um, make it happen. Light. All right. So we will play with Magyars, which is a civilization that has no eco bonus whatsoever. So it should be quite tough to make this build order with Magyars, but you will see it's possible with every single civilization in game. So let's start. Obviously, the start will be very very basic. We will go for. Six villages on food first of all, and then we will start sending villages on wood. I like to delete uh, the walls right away. I mean the back walls, because we want we want to have this farm space for later on, and we don't want to delete the walls later on because later on in the game we will have uh, we will have to focus on other things than deleting the back walls. So right away we delete the back walls in our base. Okay, we found everything, used some sheep for the scouting, but it's not really necessary. Okay, also this is a back wall as well, so we'll just delete it. Alright, nice. Now we have six villages on food, so we will send another villager on wood. And we want to see where is our opponent. Now is the perfect time to check what is the distance between me and my opponent. Okay, we see that this distance is quite long between us, so we shouldn't expect any kind of crash or anything. We will send now three villages on food, and then we will go for a boar. Game. We see that we have three deers right there. We can also take a look at our map and such. Now it's the perfect time to do such things. So now I will go with the one village on, uh, on board, and the next village will go here and we'll make a house and then we'll make a mill. As you can see, it will be almost perfect timing. We will just finish this sheep and we will get the core in. to make a mill. So. Now we want to send four villages on, on berries. I will be finishing the boar soon, so I will send one village now from there to the boar. 
Ideally you want to send the villager to the boar at like when you have left 150 to 120 food on the boar. That's something that should be like the perfect timing. Okay, so now we have four on berries and that will be the number that will stay there. Uh, basically till castle age. We also want to make some farms basically as early as possible. Um, because if we make the farms faster then we don't need to make as many of them. Because we will take more more, more food from the farms before we get to uh, while we will need it and that means that we will only need like three farms till the till we will make horse color in feudal age. Okay, we will now use the villagers and uh, gather the food from the ibex. Okay, and now I want to be sending villagers to, to wood. We will have there a lot of food under our TC, which isn't ideal, but it's not really a big deal. We can wait with this Ibex a bit because you can see that yeah, there's some other food services. Okay, and now we want to send basically all the villages to wood. We want to have two lumber camps of four villages, uh, four villages on each. We'll need one more house, so let's do it. I can unclick the villages, we will go 26 up. And as I said, we will need uh, three farms. So let's edit. Now I have a lot of food, I will be a bit short on the gold, but it's completely fine. I can already, I mean on the wood I want to say, now I can make the lumber camp. So, as you can see in the end it's very clean, we already have 400 food and we have there 4 villages here, 4 villages here, and we will have 2 on gold. We should be absolutely fine with the gold, we will be surely fine with the food and also with the wood. Yes, I can send one, this one villager here. We want to focus on the scouting and we want to find, we want to scout all the map. As you can see we already scouted all our back base by that point. So already 650 food and we still, we are not even in feudal age yet. And we already have the wood for it and we will also get the gold. So everything is looking very very smooth. I will now get those three villages and we'll make the blacksmiths and market for them. As you can see we will already have the food to click up, so I can already make the double bit but it wouldn't be better to just wait for the, uh, till we click to castle age and then make it to make sure that we don't idle. We can click up now, now it's time for the horse color. In the meantime, we will just use <coughs> the villages for the food under TC. Okay, and now we will make the horse color. It will finish before we finish those farms. As you can see, we just finished horse color. Now all the farms will be with 250 food. So that's quite nice for us. And 
we also want to have 6 villagers on this lumber camp while going up to castleage. So that will be 4, 5, 6, and there we have other this, and there we have even 7. Okay, that's not bad. What matters for us is that, first of all, we want to make a house now, so we want to get house almost right away in Castle Age. And secondly, we want to have at least 650, 650 wood while we go to Castle Age. Because we want to make two TCs right away and we also want to make uh, we want to make also. As you can see, I'm using the res uh, automatic receding. I do it every time I click horse color. It's just a habit of mine and I'm quite fine with it. I think we can already make one more farm. As you can see, we uh, have way over 650 food. 650 wood. can make another farm. And now we want to drop two farms, uh, two TCs right away. DC number one, DC number two, and Boso. Okay, now we will use the, the wood that we have right now will be for uh, making farms around the mill. So this one. We want to, now is the important time, we want to use as many farms as possible. Okay, I can kill his eagle, he's still in feudal age. We want to get as many farms as possible, as fast as possible. We want to have like 20 farms. We can make now wheelbarrow. We want to have like 20 farms to keep the free TC production. So, as you can see, we have 10 right now. Okay, we are queuing wheelbarrow, we are queuing there two villagers and two villagers as one. Well. I'm using, when I uh, click backspace, which is my hot could you go to TC, it also selects all the TCs. Which is quite nice for Boom because I can just click on the backspace and click their villages and it will always queue up from the TC where the villages uh, would, uh, where I would like to queue the villager. So let's start adding some more houses. And as you can see, we are already getting to the decent food eco, the decent farm eco. So we won't really struggle with the production anymore. We could be even buying food with the two villages on gold that we have, but uh, we won't do it this time, but uh, it would be absolutely fine. This village is going here, but it's fine. There are some more farms, and as you can see, 19 minutes almost, and we are almost getting there. We will definitely have 20, and we will definitely have over 50 villages at 20 minute mark. It's just important to keep adding farms. We already have wheelbarrow. I think we can now make the second farm upgrade. Why not? And we want to get at least two further farms. But keep in mind, with every civilization in the game, we want to get at least two further farms. With some, we want to get even to 56 later on, but with every civilization, at least 30. If you want to go imp. Alright, I paused it at 20.8, but we can see we already uh, have 54 villagers. So, uh, that was quite clean boom, and the beauty of it is that now we can do literally anything we, we want in the game. So, uh, at, this po at this point we have very, very good eco, we have 54 villagers, which is very decent start for, uh, for the game, or like for the boom, and now I can just decide what I want to do. Imagine, opponent is going with monks right now. He wouldn't be really in 
much faster than this. So at this point he would likely have there some mobs, he would be putting pressure on me. Well in that case I have very strong a farm ego at this point. I'm, I will have 32 farms once I finish those three. So um, I can just make lots of like this. I can just drop the racks and I can make lots of like this against him and I should be fine. Imponent is coming with some siege. Well, it's also completely fine with me. I can drop a defensive siege workshop. Do I want to play 40C boom? That's also fine. I will just buy 100, 100 stone and make a 40C right now. Uh, do I want to go faster to aim? Do I want to play, let's say, Arbalest, for which I don't need as much eco? That's also fine because I will now add some more on gold and I can click imp in like 3 minutes from this position on. So I will be imp with like 26 minutes, which is still very, very solid after boom. So what I'm saying is that I have all those options right now and uh, I, I, the, the game is looking very good for me because I know that I'm not behind compared to uh, in eco compared to my opponent. In fact, I'm very likely ahead and that's the most important thing on arena. Yeah, some things that we didn't really pay too much attention to because I wanted to showcase the eco mainly and the fact that we need to mainly put farms down. Uh, lay, the, lay down farms. We also scouted all the map. We, as you can see, we scouted everything in our base. We scouted all the map, although like we didn't scout this corner. We didn't scout much here, and we also uh, saw opponent walls. So this is quite nice uh, scouting for us. Although in normal game we would focus more on it, and we should be scouting every single tile outside on uh, outside as well. <clears throat> and also, it's important to know that at this point, at 20 minutes, you really need to know what you want to do from this position. So let's say, do you want to go for unique units in him? That's fine, no, send a lot of villages on stone. Uh, do you want to go for Arbalest, as, as I said, perfect eco setup, free TCs, we can go aim very fast and, and do, go Arbalest. Now we will sell a lot, we will send a lot on gold and such and such. So I can continue like this, but at this position, our ego is set up perfectly for basically anything we want to do later on in the game. And as I said, the most important thing in those POs, find your variants. You can, you could see I had my gears, basically the, the worst booming civilization in the game, but still it was quite clean for me and I didn't really struggle with the 26 plus 2 build order. However, it's completely fine if you go 27 plus 2, even 28 plus 2. Just make sure that you don't idle your TC, that you always have the resources and um, then you are completely fine even if you go 27 plus 2 28 plus 2 don't worry about it most important thing don't idle okay so this will be all from for me today uh, thanks for watching guys and i will be soon with other videos with strategy tutorials where we will actually showcase the strategies in real games and we will show there how to play with them and how to play against them as well so should be a lot of fun and see you guys